बंपिंग क्लियरेंस वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज बंपिंग क्लियरेंस एम आई टॉकिंग अबाउट बंपिंग इन टू समथिंग और इज इट जस्ट अ वर्ड इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट इस प्लीज डू वॉच द वीडियो एंड डायरी हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज एस्ट एंड डायस एंड टूडे यू आर लाइट बेसिक मरीन इंजीनियरिंग दिस चैनल इज अबाउट गिविंग यू नॉलेज ऑन बेसिक मरीन इंजीनियरिंग सो इफ यू आर वॉन्डरिंग वॉट इज बंपिंग क्लियरेंस एंड सम ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी माइट बी नोइंग इट्स इट्स अबाउट कॉम्प्रेसर्स Now, when we say bumping clearance, you know the name itself tells you that it is meant, you know, it is meant or it is about something to bumping, and that is true. Bumping clearance is basically a clearance given for the compressor so that the piston doesn't bump into the cylinder head. Now, where exactly we'll measure that? You know, what is that clearance basically? it is a clearance between the piston and the cylinder head now it cannot be if you tell an answer like this you know it doesn't give a clear view so it whenever you are telling an answer about that bumping clearance you have to say is a clearance between piston when piston is at tdc and the cylinder head and that is so called bumping clearance now why why do we have to know about this you know now if your bumping clearance goes you know plus or minus whatever it is desired to be if it goes less or if it goes higher we can have problems if it reduces as we spoke about earlier the piston can bump into your cylinder head secondly if it goes more you will think like there is no problem now you know it is more what will happen when it when the bumping clearance increases is the volume on top will increase so whatever volume you are compressing the swept volume you know earlier if it was just getting compressed in this region now it is getting compressed in this entire region so the volume has increased because of that the output will reduce now once your output reduces the same compressor which earlier was taking less time now will take a longer time to fill the same air bottle from same pressure readings so that's why it's very important to have a proper bumping clearance and it is very important that we measure it every time now before we go to measure how the bumping clearance can get factored Now suppose you are doing an overall of cylinder head, and you change the cylinder head gasket. If you don't pay attention, and if the cylinder head gasket which you are using now is of a different thickness, then your bumping clearance is going to change. How you know? Because that is also adding the gap between the piston and the cylinder head. Maybe it is not there within the cylinder head, but that is slightly elevating or slightly bringing the cylinder head down. so that's why you have to be very very careful when you're using a new gasket that you're using an original gasket and you're not using a different gasket or of some other model because that can affect your bumping clearance also many a times in olden times we used to add shims for your connecting rod suppose somehow when you're overhauling you realize that there are shims placed then when you box it up you have to make sure you put the shims back in the same place or in the same side otherwise you can end up changing the bumping clearance suppose you have realized that the bumping clearance is increase then there is also possibility that your bearing has worn out connecting rod bearing so whenever you are taking whenever you are taking bumping clearance make sure you check everything whenever you are doing compressor overall after that it is very very important that you take bumping clearance now how do you take bumping clearance okay basically we'll roll down a lead wire into a ball so you keep rolling down now how much to what size of a ball you're going to make for that what you can do open the manual check how much bumping clearance we should have so the size of your ball should be bigger than that now you place it on top of your piston okay you can put on top of piston put the gasket Put the cylinder head, tighten it equally, 
with proper torque okay tighten with proper torque not just hand tighten you have to tighten with proper torque rotate the piston for one or two revolutions after you have rotated it again you have to open it up remove the ball it now it what will happen is it will get compressed so that you take a filler gauge and measure to check for the second stage or the high pressure stage for first stage you have done this let's say if you have a tender piston and the second stage or high pressure stage which is there is down so what you will do you will roll down a ball again from the valve side you just put the ball rotate the piston and that will tell you the bumping clearance for that second stage now this normally will not change unless and until something has happened to your bearing then it will change or you had to remove the entire body and you had to change the gasket then it might change otherwise it doesn't change so easily i will try to show you a video on this my ex student has done a tremendous job and he has recorded and sent me this video so do check the video while i'm explaining this the lead wire is already turned into a ball or a shape bigger than the clearance size so you have to know that put it through the hole of the valve turn the flywheel one or two rounds let the lead wire get compressed once the lead wire is compressed you can easily remove it out and you can see it is already got pressed so now you just have to measure the clearance so hope you have understood all the things about bumping clearance why it is important what it is and how to measure it if you have not understood anything or if you have missed out something do write down if you want to see or understand any other videos you can still put your suggestion that can help me to make different videos hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video make sure you give a thumbs up do share with your friends if you have not subscribed yet i guess you have to press it and make sure you press the bell icon so that you can receive my videos all the time when i upload them thank you